welcome to another video coming to you live from North America's newest Great Lake, uh, my workshop. It's a lot of water in here. We have made it through the winter. Uh, spring is here, and that means that we can get into some new projects. But before we do that, I want to add some new manufacturing techniques to my arsenal of making stuff. First on my list is casting aluminum, because being able to make custom rigid parts out of aluminum or brass uh, is extremely powerful. I think that'll come in very handy in the future, and that is something I absolutely want to get my hands on. So the first step to us being able to cast aluminum is for us to make a foundry. And to make a foundry, I need to come up with a refractory cement compound something that I can use to line the inside of a container to make it fireproof so that we can actually smell stuff in it. And to do that, I've done a little bit of research. I found a YouTube video explaining the process. It's a very thorough video by a guy named Make It. Go show him and the video some love. Please pass on my thank you, because if this works, I'm going to be a happy camp. The formula we're using calls for seven parts vermiculite, seven parts perlite, two parts cement, and four parts sand. I prepared our ingredients off camera by collecting and sifting uh, sand from the playground and extracting the cement powder out of concrete mix because I had that laying around too. So the total cost of this whole project here uh, has been a whopping zero dollars. Now I've gone ahead and measured out our ingredients in the correct ratios using this totally manly, totally hardcore mug. Now, our next step is to mix in water until the consistency is right. Uh, and apparently, right is when it's squishy and turns into like a ball. I think that's it. We'll try that. So now the game plan, I think, is just to put it into our mold here, our shape. Pat it down a little bit. All right, I think I'm happy with this. We're going to let this sit for a couple days, and then we will be back to see uh, if it actually works. It is moment of truth time. Well, that's not a good sign. Doubled the amount of cement powder in here, so it's four parts instead of two. I also got a little bit more of a rigid form for our mold. Hopefully this will work. And now, we go and wait again. Uh-huh. Oh, look at that. We're probably good, just to rip it. So let's try it. Suppose here we have it. It's a little bit warm on the back side, but I mean, I can't touch it. I am holding it here. So I think this gets the uh, Neely stamp of approval. This has been a little bit anticlimactic because uh, nothing really happened, but that is good because I didn't really want this to explode. Uh, the fact that it is, st oh, oh, okay. Okay. So it looks like I still have a couple of kinks to work out, but that's all right because in the next video we are going to be using this formula to make a micro foundry. Uh, I've been prototyping some propane burners for a larger scale thing, but I've been doing them small scale. So we can make a micro foundry and see if it works and then we can scale it up and uh, move on from there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys have a nice day. Uh, until next time, take care. Bye bye. Pretty good.